Sandy lives in Northbridge. She grew up in South Jersey, and she said, where everybody there talks like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> and she studied music, but changed her mind about becoming a music teacher when she thought about teaching with some people who might not care about learning about the topic. And uh, she went into engineering for her work, but has kept music with her all along since a child where uh, Sandy noted that um, in her teen years she had some challenging times and it was her guitar which seemed to be her best friend while she was dealing with a difficult period and in her ability to go into her room and to play her guitar and make songs made all the difference for her in coping through some hard years and that experience stayed with Sandy through the years and so she continued on with making music and singing songs and found an interest in reaching out with people dealing with trauma and most recently has been uh, sharing songs with veterans dealing with PTSD and finding um, comfort and solidarity in sharing songs and connecting with uh, the women veterans she's been working with recently. And uh, I would just like to share a quote with you from Sandy. She said that, um, I think that sharing songs and stories and verse is a way of opening up yourself to the risk of showing others who you are, what you have learned, and how you are doing on your journey through this life. It opens up the opportunity to grow our culture, community, and hone our performance and our listening skills when it's our turn to listen. And this helps us all find balance as well as peace. I believe that if we all found a little more of our own personal self through spirituality, the arts, and community, we'd further the world's level of peace. And so she is here today to share a bit of her experience and some of her songs, and we very much look forward to hearing the songs and words she has to share. Please help me welcome Sandy Haddon. A lot of my songs ha deal with uh, uh, journey and what happens and how it feels and, and processing. Um, I just wrote this song. Assignment. Are we okay with the guitar? Is this coming through? Yay! A lot. <laughs> um, and I wrote this song um, about a woman who's uh, feeling a lot of trepidation. Something that um, you don't know what's coming. And you deal with that a lot when you're uh, processing things from going to the grocery store all the way to really important stuff. I'm across the sea in a big boat Some other son by my side My fear is rising up inside me Like the waves of the tide Life will be hard in the new place He's a stranger, I'm his bride I miss my mom and family Lord knows I wished I'd had more time Further and further away From everything I've known Hugging my guitar to my heart Thinking of home dreamed of exotic places since I was just four or five and Papa sold me off and broke my heart and my dreams so bright Mama says it must be this way the dowry keeps them alive God knows what's waiting at that shoreline for me And what my life will be like tonight Further and further away From everything I've known Hugging my guitar to my heart Thinking 
sign of home So as the black ridge rises in the distance My sister's face comes to me I hope for her that things go different And that she's not so like me Maybe she'll come to the new place And we can talk over tea I don't know much of this farmhand God grant that he have some kindness for me Hugging my guitar to my heart, thinking of home. Hugging my guitar to my heart, thinking of home. Thank you. This is a um, microphone that you should use when you're talking to the audience. This is a, an autobiographical piece, and my best friend Catherine is going to come up and play her harmonica on it. Um, I grew up in South Jersey, where everybody does talk like Rocky, you guys, and uh, it's very attractive. Um, <laughs> my dad taught me how to say things like, I'm driving on the bully board, and the smoke going up the chimney. Um, but I was lucky, I got to uh, hang out with the Girl Scouts and we got to meet the Lenape Indian tribe that was relocated back there. And there was a woman who gave me some advice once. So this is a little autobiographical and a little not. So I'll leave it up to you. Somewhere to the south of this northern state line You can find what's left of my house back in the pines You can see the scars left from the burning barrens Watch that forget river run Watch the forget river run I went to see the woman that first time I lived between the moon and the scrubby tarry pines I worked my way around the sand inside the night nothing seemed to turn out right oh nothing ever seemed to turn out right and she said do not follow raven tricks or all she sows. Staying where you don't belong, your heart will never grow. Run the fork it a river, the water path is long. And find a place your heart belongs. witching ways she could call the spirits to gather around your place she could tell your path just by looking in your face they were just her Indian ways oh I already knew the Indian ways do not follow raven tricks or all she sows Staying where you don't belong, your heart will never grow. Run the fork in a river, the water path is long. Find the place your heart
washed the window stone cold through the glass. The woman burned the sage cast signs and then she left. She said, fire burns the barrens to clear the way. And you must choose your path to go or to stay. Oh, you must choose your path, go or stay. Do not follow Raven, tricks her all she knows. Staying where you don't belong, your heart will never grow. Run the forked river, the water path is long. And find the place your heart belongs. A very good friend here who um, I met through church. Her name is Christiana Gerstner. She's going to come up and help me sing a couple of songs. Now that we have the whole gang here, um, there's a, a, a little love song I wrote um, about, God, and I tried to make it as short and sweet as possible. Writing a love song about love is basically the topic. Breakdown used dinner. Um, ready, Freddy? Okay. This is called When I Hold You. When I hold you, as I do most every night. I can't help but feeling everything is all right. Can't help but believing and knowing that it's true. Everything is better 
we're back to the journey again. I love the hike Purgatory Chasm. It's my favorite place on the planet. And it's right next door <clears throat> to where I live. So it's very good. This is a little tune about uh, walking your path, literally and figuratively. for you. This is a, uh, a song that was um, an exercise to write. I've heard lots of folks sing about being PTSD. Um, I've heard lots of songs about sad topics like abuse. Um, and I have always seemed to find, find them downers because um, their topic is sad. But um, I wanted to write something that was a little less sad and to let you know that there is hope. You can recover from this stuff. It's a journey, but uh, it is possible. This song is called What's Mine is Mine, and I forgot to tell you that if you do want to copy this song, please sign my mailing list in the back and give me your e email address, and I'll send you an MP3. OK? Ready, kids? One, two, three. <laughs> Do what you want to, I'm too little to fight. I'm leaving this body, I fly right into the night. I won't remember the night that you attack. Too scared to remember, oh, too young to fight back. It took too long to claim, it didn't come free. What's mine is mine, won't be taken from me. 
is mine, is mine, is mine, is mine. Is mine. must make decisions, what to pack, what to shed. My cat, Suki, could teach a class, no, a seminar on shedding, maybe a semester. She is my mother Joyce's cat, by the way, and my house contains the contents of her storage shed from when Do Joyce died five years ago. Again, what to pack, what to shed. Photos, first editions, jewelry, china, utensils, small appliances, clothing. <sighs> Will they be Joyce's? Will they be her mother's? Will they be my own? Will my girls want these things? The big brothers and the big sisters? Goodwill? Music, movies, audio tapes, remember them? <laughs> CDs, DVDs, LPs, remember them? Oh dear, daddy's favorite martini glasses broke. Oh well, it is my friends and family, songs and poems, stories that really matter. And they are already packed safely in my heart. Twilight, a symphony of sounds. Dew blankets the earth. Moon gently rising. Sun slowly sinking. Evening shadows emerge. Animals return to their resting places. People gather round. Today's web has been spun. Thank you.
We are all just feeling our way along the wall in the dark. Some of us trying so hard to get back to the comfortable. Not afraid, really, just not ready for the risking of it all. Some of us trapped in a room with four walls and those memories which cloy and attend us like nursemaids when all we want to find is the door. We all need our touchstones, the knowing look from a caring friend, the soothing voice of the one we love, the warm, milky smell of a newborn child, all calling us home, back to where we're safe, back to the place that holds us and whispers, all will be well. Thank you. Peach and pear.